I'm calling this episode Dramatic Sunsets. There's a couple filters that I really like to use in Topaz Studio 2 for making these dramatic type sunsets. I'm going to show you how those filters work. I have three different examples for you. I'm going to show you how you can make a little workspace. It's something that I call workspace just to, to group those filters together for you to make things easier and to speed up your workflow. So, hey, without any further ado, let's get started. I'm linking all these images in the description below so you can download them and follow along with me. It's a great way of learning. Okay, but first off, let me show you how we can make what I call workspace. Now, you can call it a workspace, a work environment, whatever you want to call it, a filter group, anything. But let me show you how to do that. What you want to do is add your filters first. Now, I'm going to show you the two filters I'm going to use First off, I'm going to use a precision contrast filter. I'm only using two different filters. So there's the precision contrast. And the second filter I want to use is the HSL color filter or color tuning filter right here. So I have these two filters right here, okay? And then all you need to do, see right up here where it says save look, give that a click and give it a name. Like for instance, I named mine, I always like to put a number. So it will be at the start of your list of uh, looks. And, uh, and this is what I denote for my like workspaces that I like to call workspaces, but you can call it whatever you want. So I'm going to give it like a number three and call it uh, sunset, sunset workspace. And that way I'll know, I'll be able to get it real quick. Now I have already made this for myself. So right now I would click okay to save it, but I've already made one, as I just said. So I'm going to click cancel here. But let's go ahead and delete these two filters here and I'll show you now. By the way, this is not a full edit. I'm just showing you how to bring some drama to your to your, um, to your your sunsets, okay? And you can do this wherever you want to in your workflow. But when you're ready to add some of that drama to your image, at whatever point you feel you want to add it, just come up here to add look. And then go under my looks. Now there's a look category here. You can click this drop down menu. And you have all these different... Uh, uh, categories in here but my looks is right here so just go to your my looks category and uh, sort by and you can have different ways of sorting them here but I just have sort by all but your numbered workspaces will come up first at the top which is really easy to find them so these would be uh, like I said a group of filters with no settings or no adjustments in them okay so I have a simplified workspace and I showed this on a past video uh, you can find that on my YouTube channel and then in fact, I'll link it in the description below for you. And then I have my sunset workspace that I made. And so I'm just going to click on this and click apply. And when I do, you'll see there's my two filters, precision contrast and HSL color tuning. Now, I like to start out with the precision contrast. So let's go ahead and click precision contrast. If you're a regular viewer of my YouTube channel, you'll know that I just recently did a deep dive into the precision into the precision contrast filter. So go ahead and get a look at that one. I'll link it in the uh, description below for you so you can find it easily. Uh, on this particular uh, image here for the dramatic sunsets, I'm not really going to use the micro because the micro does more for sharpening areas, like smaller areas, like micro type areas for sharpening and things like that. I'm not going to really use it here because I'm mainly interested in the overall contrast, but I'm gonna start out with low, and I'm gonna move my low contrast to the right. Now you gotta be careful here, but you, this is adjusted according to your taste, whatever you want. I, now remember, you are the artist here, and you make it what you want. If you wanna have that real dramatic sky like that, that's cool, you can do that. But I'm gonna adjust it to the way I think it looks pretty good. And I like to err on the side of not going too extreme, uh, I'm going to go medium now, play with the medium and just, you know, you can just fine tune it till you get it to where you like it. And I'm thinking maybe right around there. Now let's play with our high. Yeah, just a little bit of high in there. That looks good. Now here's the before and here's the after. Already it's looking really nice. But what I really like about this particular filter is not only do you have these uh, contrast adjustments, micro, low, medium, and high, but you have lighting here. And I think lighting is very important here. So I might want to open up my shadows because my shadows are a little dark in here. So I might want to open up those shadows a little bit, not too much. See how those boards are being lifted up out of the shadow areas. But I might just want to open that up just a little bit. Maybe something like that. And then midtones would be the overall midtones. Think of the overall brightness of the image. So if you wanted to bring that 
overall brightness up a little bit, the midtone adjustment. Now, if your highlights were too or too uh, too light, you want to pull them back. You can move the highlight to the left, or if you want to bring those highlights out more, lighten them up. You can bring this to the right. And it'll start to lighten up those highlights. So whichever way you want to go. And I think my highlights in this image are good. Now here's a really cool slider. It's called uh, equalization. Now let me put it on low. Notice the water down in this area right here when I put it on low. See how it darkens up? So that's low equalization. Think, think equalization equalization as like uh, evening out the lighting of your image. So let me go from low to high and you'll see what I mean. See how it gets more even. The overall scene gets more even. So less drama in my opinion. And medium would be kind of between low and high obviously because it is in the middle, right? Okay, which looks pretty cool. But if I wanted that little extra drama, I think I'm going to take low. So low on this image I think works well. But try all three because you never know which one's going to work for you. Now, sunsets to me speak out color. So I want a lot of color in my image here. So I'm going to start out with saturation. Bring the overall saturation up to a point where I think it looks pretty good. And I think right around there, this image can take a lot of color. Now let's work with the vibrance. It's going to take weaker colors and bring those up. Now it's way too much, but don't be afraid to pull these sliders and then just back them off and stop where you really like it. And I'm thinking maybe right around there looks good. Now the color contrast, it deals with uh, smaller areas of contrast. And it, those areas sometimes when you use like the low slider and the micro slider will lose a little bit of color. And this will bring those colors back. Okay, so let me pull up that uh, color contrast. Again, go back and watch that uh, deep dive uh, into the precision contrast. I explain all this stuff. But see, like in lower areas, like in here, see that that color starts to really pop out. So let me just pull it back. I do want some of that color, and I love this color contrast. But you've got to be really careful because you could you could destroy your image with that. Okay, and I think that looks pretty good. And now let me try. I'm going to go back to the midtones. See if I'm going to lighten up the midtones a little bit more. Maybe just a tiny wee little bit now here's my before and after already looking really good next we're going to examine the hsl color tuning and what i'm going to do with that one is just simply now you can target any color you want and that's really what i love about this filter and as you, as you hover over these uh different swatches here you'll see these little see those little lines those little red lines show you what area that color is in but there's blue, and I'm mainly interested in blue in this one. Okay, so I want to bring out the blues a little bit. So I'm going to click on the blue swatch. And now I'm going to take the blue saturation and see how it just targets blues. So I can bring the blue up a little bit, and I like that. And then I have this other slider here called blue lightness because I think I need to lighten up the blues a little bit. So I'm going to take the lightness and just lighten up the blue tones just a little bit, maybe right around there. And now I might have too much uh, saturation, so let me just pull it back a little. Maybe somewhere right about there. Now here's my before, and here's my after. But look at the drama that, that these two filters have brought into this uh, image. So pretty cool. So that was our first example. Now on to the second example. Now we have this beautiful little engagement shot here. So let's come up to add look. Let's grab our sunset uh, workspace or whatever you call it. We'll click apply and let's get started. Let's start with uh, precision contrast. Now again, I'm going to stay away from the micro and I'm going to start out with a low and just bring it up slowly again. I don't want to go too crazy here. Because it'll tend to make things look a little sharper. But just a little bit is good, I think. Maybe, or actually that's more than a little bit, huh? But I think it looks good right there. Let's play with the medium. And also you can go to the left if you want to. It'll make things less contrasty to the left. But I want a little more contrast than mine. So I'm going to go to the right. Sometimes I will go to the left depending on what the scene calls for. But using a dramatic sunset, no, I'm going to go to the right generally. But other applications, I would go to the left. Maybe somewhere right around there. Might be a little too much. Now let's try the high. Not going to do too much with the high. But somewhere right there. Here's the before and here's the after. Before and after looking pretty good so far. Now let's uh, play with our uh, shadows. Do we want to open the shadows up any? 
maybe a slight bit of opening of the shadows and the midtones. I can open the midtones up or darken them down for more drama. Pretty good right where they are. I might just darken them slightly. And the highlights, I think, are good. Yeah, see that? That goes real bright right up in there. That's not going to be good. So maybe open the highlights up just a little bit. Right there, I think, looks good. And now let's play with the equalization. So think more drama when you go low, which I like that. Here's high. More even lighting. Here's medium, somewhere in between. I do think I like the low on this one, I think. Let me try the medium. Yeah, I think I like the low. I'm going to stick with the low. Now let's take a look at the saturation. I'm just going to pull it to the right and see if I like the effects. Yeah, I do actually. Look at that. Nice. I like some of this blue and some of this magenta is coming out in here. And it is a sunset, so I think it could use it. I'm not going to go too crazy, but I like that little bit of blue and magenta starting to pop through, I think, right there. Here's the before and after so far, but look at that. Really cool. Let's try the vibrance. Again, it's going to work on the weaker colors. See, like that magenta in there starts to pull up a little bit. So if you want a little bit more of that magenta, you can just pull that uh, vibrance up to get it. Maybe right about there. That looks pretty nice, I think. And remember, color contrast, the uh, areas of smaller uh, contrast or lower areas of contrast, they tend to lose a little bit of uh, color. So this will bring that back. So let's play with that and see what we get. Yeah, not a, not a lot happening there, to be honest with you. Things are happening, but in a bad way when I jack that up. So I think I'm going to... Maybe a little bit. I like some of the stuff that's happening in the in the waves here in the water here. See that? That looks pretty good, actually. You know what? Hmm. Rethinking that. I like a little bit of that in there. I might pull my vibrance back. This pink looks a little too hot, so I'm going to pull that vibrance back just a little bit. Yeah, I want a nice transition coming through here. Here's the before and here's the after. Now let's see if we need any HSL. Hey, nobody says we have to use it, but let's see if we want to. The only thing I might do is uh, maybe bring the blues up a little bit. So let's go to the blues and maybe give the blues a little more saturation. Got to be careful here. Don't want to go too strong. Maybe just a tiny little bit. And how about the lightness? Yeah, let's see a before and after on the HSL color tuning. Yeah, just a little bit up there. I think that looks okay. And maybe these orange tones, maybe see if we can pull those back a little bit. So I think right in here. And let's bring back the orange saturation. Maybe just tame it a little bit. I'd like it, but what if we just brought it back a wee bit? Or we could bring it up. I don't want to bring it up. I think I want to bring it back just a little bit. I think maybe right there. Now, here's a before and here's an after. So I'm really happy with that. So there's our second example. Now on to the third example. This is a cool image. This bird has some attitude. I like them. Let's go to add look. Let's grab our uh, sunset. Click apply. And let's get to work. Starting with precision contrast. Try to go a little quicker on this one. Low. A little bit of low here like what's happening back in these clouds here, adding some drama back in here. Don't want to go too crazy, but a little bit of that is going to be good. Let's try some medium. A little bit of medium and a little bit of high. Let's see what that does. I like what it's doing to the birds, giving him a little bit of extra contrast. Maybe somewhere right around there. Here's the before and here's the after. Okay, let's move on to the uh, shadows. Do we want to darken the shadows or lighten them up, depending on what we want? I might lighten the shadows up a little bit just to give it a little more, uh, I don't know, just a little more happiness, a little more joy, something like that. Uh, Midtones, do we want to lighten the midtones? Don't want to go too crazy there. I might just slightly lighten the midtones, very slightly. And the highlights, I might just pull the highlights back just to tame some of the highlights back in here a little bit. So I got the highlights pulled back. Now let's try our equalization. Low. Kind of fun. Here's high. More even lighting. 
And here's medium, somewhere in the middle. I think somewhere in the middle looks pretty good. Let me go back to high. To me, it's a cross between high and medium. So I'm going to stick with medium. I think that's good. Do we need any more saturation? Let's try it. I don't think so. Well, I don't know. Maybe a little bit. Let's try some vibrance. Hmm, a little bit of vibrance. Maybe. It's adding some color or saturation up into here. So maybe a little bit of vibrance, not much. Something like right there. That's a fair amount, actually. Let's try the color contrast. We'll start to really bring it up. See the color starting to come out in here. Now, right now, it looks ugly, but you can see, you know, in these lower areas of contrast that have lost color, it's bringing it back. But let's just pull it back. And I don't know. Does it need anything? I don't really think it needs anything. I'm going to double click color contrast and get it back. Now let's go to HSL color tuning and see if we want to do anything here. And I really don't think I do on this one because we're basically looking at this kind of orangish color here. And it's kind of over the overall image. So I think it's cool. So actually, let's not play with the HSL color tuning. So here's our before and here's our after. So I like it. adds a little extra drama. Really happy with it. Oh, here's a really cool thing that you can do also when you have a uh, group like this. If you click on the group up here, you have an overall uh, opacity, which works with the entire group. So if I would have done anything to the HSL color tuning and precision contrast together, this group will interact with both of them when I adjust the opacity. So they'll all be adjusted, you know, simultaneously. So we could, you know, ease it off a little bit if we felt we went a little too strong. So you know what, I might say I went a little too strong in that so I can back it off just a little bit. And there we go, there is our last example. Here's the before and here's the after. Well, there you go. Dramatic sunsets using Topaz Studio 2 and two really cool filters. The Precision Contrast filter along with the uh, HSL color tuning filter. I showed you how to make uh, your own little workspace or work environment, which will help you to speed up your workflow. And uh, hey, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please leave those in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it.